Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. We are working on Module 1, Lesson Number 9, and we are using our place value understanding to round multi-digit numbers to any place value. And a little bit of a teaser, if you stay until the end of the word problem that we're doing at the end of today's episode, I will tell you a small secret that relates to my actual life. So, let's take a look at a few problems. Problem number one. Problem number one asks us to round to the nearest thousand. I want to go ahead and do problem number one, C. So we are going to round that number to the nearest thousand. And unlike in previous lessons where we used vertical number lines, today we're going to try to do it without number lines. We're going to try to do it a little bit of mental math here. So let's take a look. They ask us to round to the nearest thousand. And as I look at this number, I see that there are 16 thousands in this number. So that means that we are either going to be rounding to 16,000 or 17,000. And so as I look to the value to the right, if I look to my hundreds, I, I can guess that, well, I don't even have to guess. I can guess that, we're, that our midpoint for 16 to 17,000 would be 16,500. And this number is definitely less than that because this is 16,000 with zero hundreds. So I'm going to say that we know this is going to be closest to 16,000 when we round to the nearest thousand. Okay? Let's take a look at one more problem. Problem number two. Problem number two says... We are going to round to the nearest 10,000. Okay, well, let's take a look at C again this time. I'm going to try to do moderately difficult problems for you today. We're going to look at 789,091, and we are rounding to the nearest 10,000. So we know that there are 78 ten-thousands here in this number, and just above 78 ten-thousands would be 79 ten-thousands. And then our question is, is this closer to the 79 ten-thousands or the 78 ten-thousands? Because we know that 78 and, and 5,000 would be the midpoint, and this is well above that, right? 78 and 9,000 is above that, so we know this is going to be closer to 79 10,000 or 790 thousands. That is 79 10,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000. We've got our answer. I'm going to leave the other problems in these sets to you, as well as the explanations. On the previous one, there was an explanation about... Um, about a particular number, and in this one there's an explanation about why two of the problems actually have the same answers. Um, we'll let you go ahead and do that problem yourself. Okay, let's take a look at our last problem for the day. Our last problem for the day asks, solve the following problems using pictures, word, numbers, or words, and the one that we're going to do is 4A. At President Obama's inauguration in 2013, the newspaper headline stated there were about 800,000 people in attendance. If the newspaper rounded to the nearest 100,000, what is the largest number and smallest number of people there could have been? I'm sorry, who could have been there? So let's think about the first part of this. What is the largest number that we could have had? Let's see. So the largest number means that there were actually a bigger number, but we rounded down to 800,000. So I'm going to draw a little bit of a number line here, and I'm going to say, what if we rounded down to 800,000? Let's see, what is 100,000 more than that? Oh, that would be 900,000. And then what is the midpoint between those two? Well, that would be 800,000 plus 5 of the next place value, or 850,000. Let me check my logic there. So to get from this number to this number would be 50,000, and to get from this number to this number would be 50,000. Yep, if we added 50,000 to this, we'd get to 900,000. Now, it says, the newspaper headline stated there are about 800,000 people in attendance, and they are rounding to the nearest 100,000. So they rounded down to this number. So what is the biggest number? Let me use a red pen. What is the biggest number over here that's just below 850,000? Well, what would be one person fewer than that? That would be 849,000. 999 people. If that many people were in attendance, that would just be a little bit less than this number, a little bit less than the midpoint, so that the newspaper would round down to 800,000 people, and that would be an accurate estimate. So I'm going to go with this as my answer. There could have been, let's see, there could have been as many as 849,999 people. And you know what? I'm going to let you do the other half of that problem, which is to figure out what is the smallest number of people there could have been. What is the smallest number of people there could have been that they would have rounded up 
to 800,000. So I think that means that we're going to have to do a number line, and we're going to have to do 800,000 at the top, and probably 100,000 less than that, 700,000 down below, and then we'll have to figure out a midpoint and figure out what number, what number around here would they have rounded up to 800,000 people when in fact there were only this many people. Okay, so I'm going to leave you the second half of that problem for you, and I'm going to give you one other tidbit, which is that at President Obama's inauguration, not in 2013, but in 2009, Mr. Kung was one of the people in attendance. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, and join me again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.